Hi, this is the Amstrad 6010 multiband receiver. Uh, let me just pop him on here. Currently got it on uh, FM uh, on the air section so you can listen to what's going on up in the skies. Uh, it's picking, picking up various aeroplanes. So it's got um, various features on it, which are good. We'll pop him across. We'll go back into the normal FM range. So let's get Eight of nine, but ask Joe. We seem to have collected a confectionery zoo. Yes, but we've also got a tuning eye that comes on with very strong signals. It's your standard FM channel. Was this top end here is your air band, that's your FM band. And switch it on to long wave. The foreign channels. The piling on of costs to people who can't. And uh, Radio 4. Oh, the medium wave. My fault! The end. Package holiday, then you get adult protection. Mm, thanks, Val. Or you go when you'll be able to continue. Uh, marine band, where I am in the landlocked center of the country, you don't really pick anything up, but it does work because the other day I did pick something up near six here. I think really you're gonna have to live on the seaside to pick up anything there, but I did pick up one chair or something around here the other day, so I know it's working and you can hear it in the background. The background hiss. Shortwave 1 currently doesn't seem to be picking anything up. Um, it's not the time of day for shortwave to really be transmitting, because this is port to 1 in the daytime. Going with shortwave 2. Not a lot going on at the moment, but in the evenings, this is packed with channels. Especially in the top end range from 16 to 22 megahertz. There's a lot going on later on in the day. So there's your different... As you can see in the centre of the uh, tuning knob, you've got your, f your fine tuner there. We'll fine tune in and out on channels, which is essential for shortwave uh, because they're so packed together there. So, you've got your volume, you've got your treble, you've got your bass, but I'm afraid the knob's missing off the bass there, but it still works fine. Back to FM. the bass coming in, treble, They're fine, obviously the volume works fine. So you've got AC which it's currently on which is uh, a built-in cable lead 
Uh, it's also on DC batteries and I've tried it with batteries and it works fine. Uh, so overall, Aerial's fine, perfect, extends out full, full length, no damage or anything, and it's perfectly straight. Uh, apart from your base missing its knob, uh, it was a okay with it. It's got a bit of some like paint or something that's dripped here in time and some time in the past. I don't know what's happened there. And you've got a little bit of sort of murkiness on here. Something's dripped down, but you can see through the screen all right. So apart from that, grill's fine there. Handles perfect. On the back, you've got your standard um, time zone and uh, outer dial for time of day in your zone, so you can work out here by spinning the middle dial and setting it to the time zone that you are at the moment. So, wherever we are at the moment, it's uh, currently 1 pm. Set your time zone, which is London, which is there, 11. Just about right. Which is about there at the moment. And you can work out from here what it's currently hit. So it's 3 pm in zone 15, over in Moscow. Uh, over in zone 6, it's 6am 6 in the morning, which is over in the middle of America, in zone 24, it's 12pm, so over there. So you can set it out and then you can find all your different stations. Show you inside that it's... Perfectly clean in there, the battery zone, that's where the cable, the AC cable goes. All in all, apart from your tone knob, um, it's fine. It says now on the back, made in Hong Kong, so this was made in the 70s. This is a 1970s machine, made by Amstrad. And, uh, earphone which works fine as well got to mention that so there you go it's the amstrad model 6010 thank you